Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Alien Xenomorph Big Chap Ultimate Edition. Now I did manage to pick this up for my wife at the local Walmart. Uh, for some reason the ones here in Decatur don't really sell cool things like this, uh, but I did manage to get it at another Walmart out of town. As you can see here, the Alien poster on the front. Big Chap Ultimate Edition. The top also has the same movie poster design. Uh, the side, groups of eggs. Other side, same thing. This is by NECA and Real Toys. There's the back. As you can see, everything that comes with it. You got Big Chap, who can release his uh, little mouth thing. You got Xenomorph Egg with a face hugger, and you've got a chest burster. And on the bottom there, I can make that out. In space, no one can hear you scream. I'll back up a minute, and I'll zoom in on the, on the bottom there so you guys can read it for a second. All right, so now let's go ahead and look through the front window. It is Velcroed, and there you have the Alien Xenomorph Big Chap with all his accessories. And then on the front inside cover, you got Big Chap there. And that is the Alien designed by H.R. Giger from the original movie. And now let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at Big Chap. So real quick, before we take a look at the actual figure, as you can see here, it comes with a nice little backdrop right in there. We'll go ahead and take that out so you can see it a little bit better. If I'm able to, there we go. You got a metal door here, a wall with some... Uh, some leather letters, levers and chains it looks like, some wires. Pretty cool. So first and foremost, if you are not familiar with the Alien franchise, for shame, shame on you. It is an epic franchise. Uh, I was familiar with it before my wife and I got together. I had seen the movies. Um, I wasn't a huge fan, more of a casual fan. Uh, my wife, however, is a big fan of the Alien franchise. And so I've been getting her uh, Alien Xenomorphs and whatnot for her collection. So first things first, we have the Alien Egg, which contains the face hugger. And it does come off the base. It goes on there. As you can see here, let's go ahead and get down a little bit. As you can see here, there are some grooves in the actual base for the egg to sit right in there. And it pretty much locks into place for the most part. I mean, it's not gonna stay if you hold it upside down like you just saw, but it will stay pretty well. And then, It's getting ready to storm, guys. I'm going to have to hurry it up on this because you're going to be able to hear all the rain in this office because there is no, really no space in between the ceiling and the roof. So I'm going to try and speed through this a little bit. But here you have the alien face hugger. And it fits in there just like this. And it pops out just like, just like that. Oh, just like just like that. And as you can see, the detail on this thing is amazing. It really does look like a face hugger from the film. There's the uh, part that attaches to the face. There's the rain, guys. 
So I'm going to have to hurry this along. Um, well, not hurry along too much. We can, uh, we can deal with the rain, right? We'll get through this and I've got some other reviews to do. So we'll do those once the rain stops. Here's the alien face hugger and it is nice size, really. And I do not know where my measuring tape is, or else I would measure it for you. But it's uh, maybe about two inches long. Two to three inches, maybe. And we'll go over the detail on the egg. It's got some veins in there. Pretty cool. I'm used to the camera being on the other side. I had to uh, turn the camera around this time so that it could stay plugged in because it's charging. But the paint detail on this egg is nice. For the most part, solid brownish color. And then it starts kind of blending up here towards the hatch, I guess you could say. <laughs> there's the inside. There's the bottom. And then here's the base. I guess the egg sac or whatever you want to call it. And we'll just set that just like that. We'll place the egg hugger, or the egg hugger, the face hugger inside just like that. We'll move it out of the way. And we'll take a look at the chest burster. The chest burster is about the same length as the face hugger. And there's not really a whole lot to it. See if it can, there we go. Didn't see. Pretty nice in detail. Pretty gory looking. Um, can definitely have this thing sticking up through your uh, Colonial Marines action figures. <laughs> I'm reminded every time I see the chest burster scene, I'm reminded of the end of Spaceballs. Where they do the, uh, hello, my honey, hello, my baby, hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> so anyway, there's a chest burster. And here we have Big Chap, the alien xenomorph himself from the original film. As you can see, it's got that transparent shell on his head, so you can actually make out the skull inside. Very nice. And straight out of the box, this guy, the joints are pretty tight. Um, I wasn't sure if the arms were on ball joints or not. Um, I tested it. They are on ball joints. So are the legs. So let's go over the articulation with this guy. First and foremost, his tail is on a wire. So you can move it just about any way you want. And it does help hold him up. So you can pose him pretty nicely, as you can see. The feet, you got toe tilt. They tilt down and then they flatten. You got an ankle rocker, kinda. Um, a slight pivot, not much. Uh, you don't wanna pivot it too much, but you do have a rock, a, ankle rocker you got double knee joint so you can go all the way uh, again the leg is on a ball joint you can go out to there you can go up to there you can go back okay and that's with both sides you do have an ab crunch and twist almost slightly uh, it does feel like there's some rubber or something inside there kind of holding it in place you don't want to turn them too far you might snap it uh, the arms are also on a very tight ball joint 
as you can see there. Okay, they go up that far. They can go all the way around. And this doesn't really uh, stop them too much because like I said, it's all on, on a ball joint, so it comes out. Okay, elbow joint. It looks like it is a double elbow joint, but I'm I'm willing to bet that top one is very fragile. You don't want to bend it too much. And then you have a hinge at the wrist. It's also a peg. So you got a hinge and a peg on the wrist. As for the head, it can slightly look up. Hear the thunder? Let's go ahead and zoom out. That's it. I want to go out. Okay, I guess that's as far as it'll go. Okay, so you can slightly look up and down. The ab crunch does most of the work though. Uh, turn to the right, turn to the left, and you want to be careful because it's got these very thin, brittle plastic pieces. It's a soft plastic on both sides, so you can't really turn it too much without risking breaking those. But the mouth does open, and there's your, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, there's your skull puncher, whatever you want to call it. And it just slides straight out. And the covering over the skull is made out of a soft rubbery plastic as you can see here and just look at the detail on this guy let's turn on the light so you can see it better there we go look at all that detail that is just amazing amazing artwork very much like the hr geiger hr geiger however you pronounce his name just like hr geiger's original design and if you don't know who hr geiger is shame on you he is an amazing artist i learned about him when i was serving as a tattoo apprentice i don't do tattoos anymore but that's how I was introduced to him, other than uh, through Alien. But just let's take a minute to appreciate the sculpt of this alien xenomorph. So anyway, there you have it, guys. This was the Alien Big Chap Ultimate Edition from NECA and Real Toys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got the 30 bucks, head on out to Walmart. If your local Walmart carries these things, pick them up. This is a very cool addition to your NECA collection. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.